Hello, my name is Matthew Ellison. We're in Burgos, Spain, for the European HD Summer Camp, and we have around 40 young people from eight different countries attending a week long camp which provides support and education and fun. Part of camp is getting away from what's happening at home so they can gain a better understanding of HD to help them cope with HD in their lives and also plan for the future and also we provide support for young people who need it and they can also have a huge amount of peer support here. Det som är bra med att vara på läger är att man får träffa andra i en liknande situation som kan relatera och förstå. So today we did the team building in the morning. So the groups went out into the park and into Burgos to do some uh, activities at different various stations around Burgos. It's a fantastic way for young people to have some fun, but also uh, feel more comfortable at camp. In the afternoon, we were looking at the Enroll HD study and the family history aspect of that, which uh, involves questionnaire and looking at each individual's family history of HD, how far they can see back into their family history. And that's, that's very important for research to get a better understanding of how HD works. The funding for this camp and the two previous camps have come from the European Youth in Action programme and also from the local HDAs, the Huntington's Disease Associations of the countries who send young people. The plan for the future is to try and develop local level youth services for young people in their own countries. As much as the camp's important, it's more important to have local level services that people can use when they really need them. Andra borde vara med för att inte behöva känna sig ensamma och få stöd och perspektiv på sin egen situation. It's absolutely vital that these events continue to happen and that young people continue to have access to support and education. Otherwise young people are going to remain in isolation. Mm.